Competitor number four, Siddish Hua, is a PhD student in mathematics whose presentation is titled Number Theory and, Elliptical, uh, Number Theory and Elliptic Curves. In today's world, where elections are won or lost because of unencrypted emails, cybersecurity has become of utmost importance. And the backbone of all of today's computer encryption is number theory and elliptic curves. So what is number theory? In simple terms, number theory is the study of natural numbers. Numbers like 1, 2, 3, 4, the basic ones that we studied in school. What do you study about them? Well, the most famous question in number theory was the Fermat's last theorem. It asked, are there numbers A, B, and C such that perhaps A cubed plus B cubed is equal to C cubed? Like we have 3 squared plus 4 squared is equal to 5 squared. This turned out to be a really hard question to solve, and it was open for over 350 years, with a solution finally being found only in the 1990s. The method for the solution was elliptic curves. Which brings us to, what are elliptic curves? Elliptic curves are curves which look like this. They're called elliptic curves because of their shape. And as functions, they're given by some equation like that thing. These elliptic curves have a really peculiar addition defined on them. If you take two points P and Q in a straight line, their addition is not the third point on the line but it's mirror image. This addition is really crucial for today's cryptography. You see, if you use one elliptic curve to encrypt data, you need that specific elliptic curve to decrypt. Now, you might say, well, that's not too bad. A computer can churn out thousands of elliptic curves a minute. It can easily break that, and you'd be right. It'll be able to break that really easily, but that's not what we really use. If we use something like that monstrosity right there, and as you can probably guess, that'll take years to break. That's where we number errors come in. What we do is we try to study these elliptic curves and their properties. What I do in particular is I try to create new elliptic curves from old elliptic curves. Hopefully, this will increase our efficiency of algorithms by a lot. And this will not only affect us on a national level with something like the NSA, but on a more individual level, like preventing another Equifax debacle and saving the identities for everyone and a lot of headache. Thank you.